What's up, everybody? Welcome to throwsuniversity.com. Welcome to a sweet technical analysis. And here we've got the reigning world champion, reigning Olympic silver medalist, one of the best shot players currently in the world, Joe Kovacs. And so what we want to do is do a little bit of a technical analysis before I believe he's thrown down in Tucson, and this is 2021. So let's check out what does Joe do here. Okay, so this is 2272. Uh, Joe's best is 2291. And if we can compare, uh, I'm trying to just visualize that big throw from Doha. And one of the things that I, I sort of feel like Joe does a little differently here, and it could be because it's early in the season, is he starts to fall with that left hip a little bit more uh relative to where he was in Doha. Now, that's not me saying he's got bad technique. That's me saying maybe he's he's either he either wants to do that or he's not in as peak condition as he was at the World Championships, which is more likely the case. Um, cuts that right down. I always love his right leg, like right here. How long is it? Just, he just squeezes that groin in. And I've talked to him about this left arm position here. He sort of feels like, all right, I want to throw the shot with my left side. So it's like if you can think about his left knee opening and that hip opening here while he's holding here, that just creates a ton of energy around that gut. And then when that's, that left grounds, you can see how his left grounds, his heels back and his knees forward. So that left hip is open while the shoulder is back, right? So now we get to this point, he starts to open that wide and he's starting to score up. Now, what I wanted to point out was on Joe's big throws, he sort of transfers forward and he's a little bit more stable. You can see here how he, he transfers into that left side a little bit and then it sort of falls out of, out of balance and loses that down that right sector. And that's where his big throw was, too, in twenty two, the 2291. Um, but what I wanted to just touch on is I think Joe's going to break the world record at Tucson. Uh, I think uh, he's thrown well there in the past. He's, you know, he, he's just competing really well. He threw 22 indoors, coming out. Everything's starting to line up pretty well. I, I also wanted to say... There's like this period of right when he grounds, and you can see that right knee is just a little bit, and then it's like right here, it starts to bend even more. And that's when you're going to start to see him using that 800-pound squat for reps. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, what can he do? Maybe if he squares up a little bit more while he holds that left, comes forward a little bit more stable, a little bit more balanced, works that shot around maybe a little bit more towards that center or left sector. I think this throws well over 23. I saw one of his warm-ups during this competition, well over 23. Uh, Jeff Klein was there at the comp, well over 23, according to him. So I believe there's a distinct possibility that Joe Kovacs will break the world record this weekend in Tucson in 2021, May of 2021. If you want more information about throws-based training, head over to throwsuniversity.com. If you want... More technical analysis, you can pick up a technical analysis at Throws You. Until next time, guys, peace.